Noon, what started as a simple traffic stop ended with two people in the hospital. According to police, didn't have to chase because the driver quickly crashed in the 7400 block of Waybridge. They slammed straight into a tree in someone's front yard. Our Max Massey caught up with the neighbors there who say this crash is part of an ongoing problem in that area. Before they turned it off, I filled up to fill up my sink so I could at least go and wash my face. But I didn't know what the damage was. Yeah, it was a mess last night. Robert Sotelo is a retired veteran who spent much of his morning trying to turn on his water. Figuring out how to deal with the aftermath of last night's crash. There's a guy from Arrow. Just outside his front door. And the extent of the damage from last night's crash didn't end here at Mr. Sotelo's yard. It spanned three properties, knocking down bushes, ruining landscape, and finally coming to an end here, hitting this tree. This is not the first time. This is the second time. The last time, I, they towed a lot my Silverado. Neighbors say this just shows something needs to be done about the dangerous traffic on the street. They took off the speed bumps that were here on this side. They left the ones on that side, but they took the ones off of this side. Either way, this veteran now has to spend the rest of his day dealing with the mess on his lawn, the mess with his water, and the possible mess with his insurance. You know, he's trying to keep a yard up, you know, and then for his kids to come and tear it up and then leave you hanging, you know. Now I got to do all this stuff. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.